Hey, Rhett, this kid made a Lego Optimus Prime. Let's talk about that. Doop do 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 Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, Chicken Moon with Chicken Moon Mox. And it is finally that time to bring you my Lego Optimus Prime. Yep, I did it. I finally made one. And he's about the same as Nem my Nemesis Prime. And get my camera set up. There we go. So yeah, uh, it's basically a recolor or a repaint, but there are some uh, unique details to him, especially on his uh, leg design. And see, there's a couple extra studs there, just for. The point of because I don't have some of the parts in blue that I'd like to have. Uh, let me fix my lighting real quick. Alright, that's better. So, uh, yeah, there's some minor details that make him different. He still slopes forward. I, I think they're actually, I can probably fix that with this model if I just get it. Nope, doesn't want to do it. So yeah, it slopes forward just a wee bit. Uh, no too much now I would like it to, but it's about the same as Nemesis, so can't really fix that. Uh, other than that, there really isn't much different to them. Uh, there are some a few minor details, if we look at the bottom, about the same. The only difference would be the... Uh, I put the vents on here, and I turned them the opposite way to show the jumpers up there. Yeah, not really much else to say. They both roll really well, as long as you have all six wheels on the ground. Which, and if you don't, it's still fine, they still roll. Uh, I don't have a trailer yet for Optimus. Uh... I want to build one, it's just kind of all my light like, gray plates are kind of in, invested into the sword, which if you want to see the video on that, you can check out my channel, but yeah, so that's where all my plates have gone, so I can't really build a trailer at the moment, but it's on my to-do list, and yeah, in case you haven't realized, today's minifigs are... Rhett and Link from the YouTube channel, Good Mythical Morning. And then we have this a little micro fig. Don't have my actual minifig, kind of left them somewhere. I'll have to go find them later. But there you go. Uh, I'll pop them off their stands, so their seats. Here's Link. And here's Rhett. So, let's bring in some the Optimus Prime and Nemesis Prime. Let me move my camera over. Or just move them over. Still a rookie at this. Don't be too harsh. <laughs> there you go. That's right. Oh, wait. Right top. Can't be on that side. There we go. Might be a bit. How many figs are a pain to stand up? Okay, so yeah, that's Optimus and Nemesis, so we'll just take Optimus, and I'll show Nemesis later on in the video, but I did build a roller for, <laughs> okay, <laughs> this is roller, all decked out with all of Optimus Prime's weapons, his gun and his axe, I actually popped those off, and we'll just look at the actual roller model himself, so here's the gun, does shoot, and here's the axe, which looks really cool. At least I think. So there's Optimus Prime and his roller. And then I do have Nemesis Prime's roller, which doesn't look as crazy. Well, maybe. Still looks pretty crazy with the weapons. But take them off. And then that is Nemesis Prime. <coughs> Nemesis Prime's roller. Yep. 
They're about the same in a lot of ways, and they're a little different in other ways. But just uh, like Optimus and Nemesis. Like I said, I really just tried to recolor, and then I modified it just a little bit to make it look better for their designs. This brings in some scale. Here is Hot Rod for scale. And it doesn't look too bad. I don't think my only complaint is the cockpit is just a little small on Hot Rod. So that's the only thing that's really stopping me or preventing me from saying they're in the same scale. But they look pretty respectable together. So I'm going to have to change my mind about that. Just not my camera. Alright, uh, next we have Sea Spray. And you know how weird Sea Spray is whenever he like transforms because he grows massive. But him and Optimus in this mode. Again, the cockpit just set me off for it. But yeah, robot mode definitely in the same scale. But this with that little tiny cockpit, I don't think so. Alright, let's get rid of him. Uh, we have Soundwave. Let me fix his back so he can actually stand on his own. There we go. There is Soundwave. That's not right. <laughs> so it's always just be like that big. <laughs> but, but I don't have mass shifting. So it's stuck like that. There we go. Alright, so enough of the scale. Let's go on to transformation. So to transform, Optimus is pretty simple, pretty easy. Oh, and if you want to see a video on any of the Transformers I just showed, just look on my channel. You will find them, I think, pretty easily. Alright, so let's transform Optimus. So to transform, all you're going to do is you're going to lift up the feet. You are going to bring down the legs, rotate them around until you have them like this. And my camera is not going to be in a good spot. That's better. You're going to separate the feet. Rotate the here. Show that leg so they look a little bit better. And then, now you just basically have, uh, what was that show? What was that anime that had, like, the jet that turned into the little walkers with the cockpit? Basically. Yeah, I don't know. But, uh, if you know, let me know in the comments below. But, yeah, just, <laughs> you have that, but with a truck. <laughs> Here, we can bring it down, out the arms, and now it looks a little bit better. So, there you go. Now, you might notice one hand has a, well, one hand ha actually has a hand hole to put stuff in. There's the head. But the other doesn't, so there's the, here's what one looks like. With the little hole for the hand. And the other one doesn't have that. It's kind of because I don't really have another one of those. And it's also because you don't really need that. I'll show you why in a minute. But yeah, that's Optimus Prime. In robot mode. There you go. Not much. Uh, let's um, take a look at it. He actually does have some... A cool feature of the matrix chest actually does open. I mean, pop off this so you can actually get some light in there. There you go. That's my version of the matrix. It's the light gray jumper plate with a one by one trans blue or trans light blue stud. So it's the lighter blue, not the windshield blue color on this guy. Uh. Yeah, the reason his hands are different is kind of because I don't have the part. Um, I actually did order one. Uh, I think I ordered three. So one here, one here, and then an extra one. And I lost the extra one, and then I used took I had to take off the hand to put it on another Transformer that I'm really, really proud of. So I think that's, yeah, I think that's going to be my next video. So I don't want to spoil too much about him, but he is one of my favorite Transformers I've made. Alright, so let's bring in uh, some scale Transformers. Alright, so I'm back. So here's some minifigs for scale. 
they go about to his knee, I guess. <laughs> Here, let's give him his weapon. So, this is why he has the one hand. One hand holds the gun, which you can technically just take that hand, the entire hand off, and then put it on that arm if you want that arm to hold the gun. Uh, then what you do is you can actually take off his hand, so take off his entire hand, and you can replace that with the axe. I think this is the, probably the best way I could do it, just because I really, it was the only one way I could come up with that I could have a good uh, robot mode and a good vehicle mode, because if I leave him with the plates, or with the studs facing up, and it's not going to look as good. So, like, a, here they are, Rhett and Link, right next to Optimus Prime. And that axe is massive, so... Ah. There we go. Now you kind of see the axe, but that is extremely far away. That is, like, full arm's length away from me. But, it works. So, there you go. That's Optimus. Uh, let's bring in some more scale. Here we have Sea Spray. Another Autobot. <laughs> Man, they look tiny. Let's see how close I can get them. Without coming off too much. I'm going to have to bring them really close just because I don't really want y'all to be really straining to see them. So, there you go. Uh, sorry, no axe in the shot. <laughs> oh, there we go. Uh, the thumbnail. I'll make a take a picture of them for the thumbnail. Here we have a uh, roller. There he is with his roller. Really tiny. Here's Hot Rod. Looks pretty good. I'd say that one's okay. Again, just the cockpit is the only thing where the people sit. It's just the only thing that's really setting me off from putting them in the same scale. I think him and Sea Spray make sense. I think they make sense. They could be in the same scale. With uh, And the size difference isn't that bad. Here's Omega Supreme. And that kind of cuts off on the Autobot side. So, now let's get some on the Decepticon. Uh, here is Nemesis Prime. And him and Optimus kind of enemies. There's a lot of different backstories for Nemesis Prime. Uh, some say he was created by people. Uh, others he was like a and made as a, like a clone. Or there's just a lot of different backstories for him. All right, here is Bruticus. Actually, wait, no. Here's Soundwave. That makes more sense. Soundwave. Uh, I don't know. I don't think, no, they're probably, they're not in the same scale. Now, Hot Rod and Soundwave, they're about in the same scale. But, there's Bruticus. And, here is Nemesis Prime's roller. So, that's all of the Transformers I chose to show scale with. You can see Rhett and Link is kind of hiding back there. No, there's no reason why Link's on the Autobots and Rhett's on the Decepticon side. It's just kind of just, I put them there. In the moment. So, there you go. That's your scale. Now to go on to articulation. So, articulation in for Optimus. He's got a pretty good range when it comes to articulation. Uh, especially in the legs region. And you know, I'm going to leave Nemesis Prime just in the background. Just because he is about, he is really just the same design as Optimus. So, basically you can move the knee, it's on a ball joint. A little limited in the sideways, but you don't really need that. Unless you're wanting to break his leg. Knee goes perfectly 90, actually you know what, it looks a little bit more than 90. So, that's really good. Uh, his waist has the little yellow on it. I'd like, maybe like some custom stickers or something. Just put a little yellow there and a little yellow there just to break up all that gray and flatness of the gray. Maybe. I, I probably wouldn't like Sharpie it or anything, but if I had some like custom stickers, that's what I'd do. 
So then this is also on a ball joint, a little limited in the sideways, but like I said before, you don't really want that or too much of that. Uh, then we can have the arm. It's only on a ball joint, kind of connected to the, uh, I guess this would be shoulder, connected to the shoulder. So it gives a lot of forward and backwards motion, and then little, and it can rotate uh, almost 360 degrees. It can rotate pretty much all the way around, except for the bodies in the way. Uh, then the head is on a T joint. You know it's a real pain to show off the articulation, but yeah, heads on the T-joint, rotate 360, can look up and down, just gotta be careful. And again, thanks to BX Brakes for this head design, I really appreciate it. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if he knows that I'm using it, but <laughs> I want to thank him for that because it really helps a lot. The old design I had was like Chris Roach's and it just looked a little tiny for this size of an Optimus. So yeah, that's Optimus Prime. And now let's see if I can get Nemesis Prime into a cool pose real quick just to finish this video off. There we go. Enemies of the same hand. Literally. <laughs> No, I kind of just came up with that. But, uh, yeah, I've, today's, uh, shout-out time. Alright, so today's YouTube shout-out goes to Zombie Unicorn 195 A link to his channel will be in the, dis in the description below. And, uh, here it is is this is his channel art there he is that's him uh no, i can't press off so yeah man okay then <laughs> so zombie unicorn 195 uh a lot of Letters have been replaced, but yeah, he's a YouTuber and he's actually a friend of mine. So check him out. Uh, like I said, link will be in the description below. And then next week's video is something I'm really looking forward to. So definitely stay tuned for that. And until next time, thank you guys for watching. And. I had a will. I had a will of mythicality. I really did, and then I guess it just got destroyed or something because I cannot find it. Because I think that would be the perfect way to end this little GMM based video. Come on. <laughs> All right. Well, there we go. So yeah. Like I said, thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe for more awesome Lego creations, and leave me a comment telling me uh, what you think. How did I do? Uh, how to do on this uh, on this what I consider an awesome model, but if you have any complaints just kind of, um, Constructive criticism would be appreciated So yeah, just let me know I know this has been one of my longer videos but I think it's well worth it and Finally, I just want to say Merry Christmas So that's about it for now until next time Goodbye